Oh, this is a classic sign which you need to know for your medical exams. So tell me as many causes for portal vein hypertension as you can starting now. Uh... No worries, I'll teach you a way to never forget it if you comment down below the name of this clinical sign. To unlock this faster way of thinking, you need to understand portal blood flow. The portal vein is the main vein which drains the gut and the spleen. Ultimately, it drains into the inferior vena cava, but it takes a detour through the liver first. If we zoom into the liver, we can see the branches of the portal vein. It's accompanied by branches of the bile ducts and the hepatic artery to form the portal triad. Blood flows out of this vessel between the sinusoidal cells before draining into the central vein, which then drains into the hepatic vein and then into the inferior vena cava. Portal vein hypertension results from conditions which cause blood to back up any part of this tract. So to remember the causes, just remember these five areas. Prehepatic, before the portal vein enters the liver. Portal vein thrombus is the most common cause. Next is pre-sinusoidal, a blockage before the blood reaches the sinusoidal cells. Causes include schistosomiasis and granulomatous disease. Next is sinusoidal. Cirrhosis is the big one here. Also a fatty liver, which we call steatohepatitis, as well as the buildup of amyloid. Next is post-sinusoidal, which are conditions which obstruct the central veins. And finally, post-hepatic, the key ones being cardiac failure and Bud Chiari syndrome, which is a clot in the hepatic vein. So let me know in the comments below the name of this clinical sign and I'm going to drop the answer there very soon.